Usage and installation of power repeater. Installation advice, the controller does not connect LED strip, only for signal output. The controller and power repeater needs independent power supply. Connect the power repeaters in parallel. Step 1. Connect the controller with the power repeater. The controller output connects with the PWM signal input of the power repeater. Wire of at least 0.5 to square millimeters is recommended. Step 2. Connect the LED strip to the output of the power repeater. It's indicated that the power repeater is suitable for 12 to 36 volts LED strip. Other power repeaters connect LED strips in the same way. Step 3. Connect the power repeaters in parallel. Wire of at least 0.5 to square millimeters is recommended. Wire of at least 0.5 square millimeters is recommended if the quantity of power repeaters in parallel is more than 20. The distance between controller and the last power repeater should be less than 100 meters. The quantity of power repeaters in parallel should be less than 100. Each channel number corresponds to a color. Step 4. Choose suitable constant voltage LED drivers. The output voltage of the LED driver must be consistent with that of the LED strip. Follow the principle that the power of the LED strip less than or equal to 80% of the power of the LED driver for the power repeater less than or equal to the power of the power repeater. The controller does not connect LED strip only for PWM signal output. An LED driver of around 10 watts is enough. Step 5. Connect the positive and negative poles accordingly. For the stability of control, it's recommended that the controller and power repeaters be powered by independent LED driver. Step 6. LN input of the LED driver connects with AC power. Step 7. Match the controller to the remote control.